Hi everybody, Butcher here. Oh, it's good to be back. It's been a couple weeks since I actually came here and uh, did a webcast. Uh, as you know, I'm just I just basically fill in for Pennywise, my brother, as you all know. He's basically still sick, you know, and uh, though he did do one or one webcast a few days ago, but he wasn't still wasn't feeling very well, you know. He's 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 schizophrenic, you know. He's he's, he's a mess. You know, I'm I'm actually the sane one in the, the family, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's me. You hate clowns? Good. <laughs> because I'm just a clown. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to fill in for him tonight and do a really cool movie. Since Halloween is tomorrow night, 2015. <laughs> I'm going to do a classic from 1990. Oh, my God. Hey, check this out before we get to the movie. I'm not going to tell you the movie right this second because I don't want to spoil it for you. I bought this toy for Pennywise, my brother, tonight. It's a pig. He likes those goofy toys. Let's listen to this. Isn't that kind of cool? I bought it at this local supermarket. It's pretty cool. Yes, I go into the supermarket dressed like this. <laughs> Especially when it's right at Halloween. It's not. Everybody loves Butcher. You know, I'll tell you why his bodyguard is protector. You know, I'm the bodyguard of the entire webcast uh, crew here, as you all know. <laughs> I got my trusty knife, of course, you know, because I have to have uh, protection. So, let's get on to the review tonight. We got some really, we got a classic movie tonight. A classic movie. I, I, I love this movie. You know, it's called, I love this movie. It's called Night of the Living Dead. Now, a lot of, this is the remake from 1990. Oh, my God. I love this movie. I think it's pretty damn good. Uh, Tom Savini is the director. He, you know, he directed it along with George Romero as the producer and stuff like that, you know, or the writer and stuff like that. They kind of collaborated on this movie. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm a little buzzed tonight, so I got my, my favorite reds. Yeah, reds. Oh, yes. Oh, again, nice buzz off that. But I'm still good enough to do this review. <laughs> uh, anyway, this movie uh, is from 1990 or 89. It varies. I think 1989 or 90. Something like that. It stars like uh, Tony Todd. We all know who Tony Todd is. He's one of my favorite actors. Uh, uh, William Butler's in this movie. Patricia Tallman is in this movie. It, it's basically a remake of the 1968 classic Night of the Living Dead. This one's in color, of course. And there's the cover. Yes. I'm going to give this a pretty good review because this 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 falls right perfectly into my uh, my. Uh, horror collection of my, you know, my my DVD collection. So I, I kind of like this movie. You know, look at that. It, it's not got a great cover, but you know, Night of the Living Dead. Yes, a lot of the same people that were involved in the 1968 were listening to that. 196. But check this out first. Look what look at Spidey put bring into this. Look at that. Look at Michael back there. Some kind of a lighting effect. Isn't that kind of cool? Oh my God, it's kind of cool, isn't it? It kind of Michael wanted this lighting effect, so he basically asked Spidey to go out and buy the special twirling disco light. <laughs> disco light, give me a break, disco light. But it does kind of have a nice effect, doesn't it? Yeah, kind of. Michael wanted his his uh, his his personality to be more sparkling, apparently. So he's got this thing illuminating back there with all kinds of twirly lights and everything, you know, and. Yeah, stuff. Well, I'll get back to that in a few minutes. I can show you more pictures of that. But right now, the it, we're, we've got to concentrate on this movie. Now, it, it kind of basically starts off with the same type of characters that were in the first movie. It's basically a rehash of the very first movie. Uh, a lot of the characters kind of look very similar to the, the 1968 uh, uh, cast members. You know, uh, G George Romero and Tom Sabini kind of wanted it like that, you know. 
Uh, so it's kind of like a basic remake, pretty much right to the point, you know. You know, basically it starts out with, uh, you know, I'm really pissed off at everybody around here is studying basically all the time. You know, uh, now I'm addicted. I don't know what the hell to do. I, I might have to just stick myself. But first I need a drink. <laughs> then we'll get to the movie review because I think it's a great movie. At least I like it better than the first movie. Ah, yes. Ah. Anyway, it has the same premise, the same storyline. Uh, Patricia Tallman and her brother, played by Bill Mosley, he's great as her tormenting brother. And they go up to the cemetery to visit their, you know, recently deceased mother. And of course, the plague is already starting to take hold in that part of the country. And so they're attacked by, uh, uh, you know, a number of zombies. And of course, uh, her brother gets killed. Uh, Bill Mosley, really nasty way of dying. He's fighting with this zombie, and the zombie kind of trips him, and he basically. He hits his head on this tombstone, and you can see his neck gets broken. It's just a nasty way of dying. I think you all remember this particular scene in this remake. <coughs> in this remake, anyway. And uh, it's just nasty. And, of course, she's, she's just, you know, frantic and, you know, scared shitless. And she goes running. And, oh, my God. And then, you know, the, the one zombie's chasing her that killed her brother. And... And then she runs in, you know, she tries to get into this car, their car, you know, it's parked really close to their mother's grave. They went to visit their mother, which is really nice, you know. I don't have a mother. Or do I have a mother? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's pointless now because I'm just a, just a freak. <laughs> Won't you say I'm just a freak? Ah, but I'm the coolest. That's why they call me Butcher. Anyway, she gets in the car, and she doesn't have the keys, of course, and, you know, she, you know, she lets the, the brakes loose, and then she goes, crack. Well, before that happens, this really one zombie is already, he's a recently deceased zombie. He comes walking up to the car. He looks like he's just, you know, like an undertaker or something. He's, he, he's actually a zombie. He's already dead. You know, he thinks he's alive, but his clothes come ripped, Paul, and falling off because they're they're cut up from the back because he's just been autopsied. You know, <laughs> you know. So he's he's looking for some flesh to munch on too. You know, and of course they keep attacking her in the car. You know, trying to get in and everything. And and then she, you know, she she pulls the brakes off. You know, and the brakes the car goes sliding down this hill. And she, you know, crashes, and of course she gets out and starts running into this farmhouse, which are, you know, pretty much, it's pretty much like the first movie. You know, she gets inside, and there's a couple, there's a zombie or two, you know, the, the guy that owns the, the house, you know, farmhouse and stuff. So she, you know, she she doesn't know what to do, and of course Tony Todd uh, comes pulling up in the driveway in this pickup truck, you know, and he runs over this one zombie, you know, that's uh, walking up the road and everything. It's actually pretty cool. He, he doesn't really kill the zombie, but he breaks him in half because he runs him over. <laughs> that's a great scene. He's kind of like, his body's all twisted, his lower body, and his, he's just stuck in the ground, you know, and he's trying to crawl up towards the house, you know, and, you know, bite people and chew on their delicious fresh, you know, their flesh. Oh, my God. Yummy! <laughs> uh, am I freaking you people out? Good, good, good. Because I gotta have a little more of my brewski. Or my cider. It seems to be the staple of the group now. Pennywise and Spidey and, uh, you know, Michael Myers. And let's take a look at that ugly mug back there. Hang on for a second, man. That's really good. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's take a look at him. I kind of like that lighting effect that he uh, had Spidey install uh, yesterday. Isn't that kind of cool? Look at that. It's one of those disco balls for your apartment. You know, it spins and it shoots all these different colors around. You should. You want to see this in, in what it looks like without the lights off? Let me... Let me Check this out, man. This is awesome. This is awesome. Check this out. <laughs> oh, 
Yes! I kind of like that thing. That's kind of cool. It kind of gives a, the studio a little bit of ambience, you know, a little kind of creepy looking, you know. It's kind of like Michael likes to spin it around him to kind of, uh, you know, kind of uh, give him kind of a, like a creepier... Uh, uh, look, I kind of like it, you know. I think I think Spidey paid like about seven dollars for this thing, and he installed it yesterday before I tied him up and threw him down in the basement with Leatherhead. But Michael likes his his personality being kind of like uh, you know illuminated back there by all these spinning lights, you know. I think it's kind of cool actually. So we'll get away from that right now. Studio's looking good. Yeah, all the spider webs and everything. And, Stuff like that, and let's do, let's do that. Oh, maybe a little lower, a little bit lower. There we go. You can still see me because I'm the most important thing of this. Oh, god, of this particular webcast. Anyway, Tony Todd is in this movie. You know, Tony Todd from Candyman and you know, uh, Wishmaster and all those classic movies, you know. And uh, so he's basically, it's basically, yeah, you know, like I said, it's it's just a remake. They're just play, portraying the same characters from the 68 movie. So they go through all these motions. They're boarding up the houses. And they find out people are in the basement, you know. Uh, the, the kid and his girlfriend and the older couple and their bitten daughter. You know, she's going to die and turn into a zombie. So uh, it, it's actually a pretty good movie. I think the acting is very, very good in this movie. I think, I think in my opinion... It's got great theme music, you know, ambience and spooky atmospheric music. It's got uh, sound effects and everything, and the zombies are actually pretty cool. I think they look much better in this movie than the original 68 movie. It's my opinion. I think this, I like this movie much better than the 68. Now, I know a lot of people are going to dispute that. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> this is my webcast, and I say it's better. Much better. But the first one, I have to give the first one credit. That kind of started the whole zombie craze pretty much, you know. But I, I, I don't think it has nothing to do with the color. I just think it has, well, maybe it's better because of the color. You know, it's just, it seems to be more, well, more modern, updated, you know, because of the color maybe. And, you know, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a more current remake and stuff like that, you know, and, but, you know, there's a lot of, every actor in here does a pretty good job. You know, they're all believable, especially when the zombies are trying to, they all, you know, they're barricading the windows with doors and wood, you know, planks and stuff like that. It, it's almost exactly the same as the first one. Tom Savini, I think, did a pretty good job directing this movie, along with, you know, George Romero is involved in this movie, too, and a whole, John Roos, a whole bunch of different people. Same people were in the first one. And, uh... Yeah, there's the back side of it. You really can't see this too good. <laughs> Just think about zombies. I love zombies. If I was if I was dead, I'd like to be a zombie. And maybe in that new show Walking Dead that's been on for like five, six years. It's pretty cool. But it's kinda of like a soap opera. It's getting kind of boring. They're just kept picking off of the real popular characters. Season after season after season. Pretty soon you won't even have the original cast anymore because they're all going to be dead. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's get back to this goddamn movie again. Now, if you want to make a comment at the end of this webcast, below in the comment box on my YouTube channel or my Facebook channel, uh, page, feel free to do that. But if you say this movie sucks, I'm going to... Fuck you! <laughs> this movie is a great movie. You know, I, I think this movie is is you know the first one is okay. You know, I'm not gonna down the first one, but I I only watched it a few times, but I watch this movie more than once. You know, I think it's just a, a much better version of the first movie. You know, I I would if I had the choice if I had the cheese between this movie. In the original movie, I would take this movie. Though I do have the original in my collection, as you can see right back there. My, see my damn fingers pointing? Right there. 
something like that. All those DVDs back then, Blu-rays and stuff like that. <laughs> Ooh, I like me. <sighs> what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, my hair is looking all fucked up gnarly tonight, man. I can't. You guys think I should go to a stylist? You know, like Pennywise, he's always bitching about his hair and everything. I should go to a stylist. Maybe get this shit combed out once in a while and maybe some product in it or something. What do you think, huh? Anyway, it has... Anyway, back to the movie. So, the zombies start to break it. Of course, the daughter's been bitten in the basement, you know. That's why they're in the basement, you know. She basically comes back later on and bites her mother and, you know, of course, and, you know, and they have to kill her and her mother. Tony Todd is actually quite good in this movie. Actually, all the actors are very good in this movie. You know... I'm not going to give every little scene away because that's not what we do here at the webcast. We want to keep you thinking, thinking about this movie and thinking about what scenes we haven't included in this review. Because that's the point. That's the whole point of this review. It's to kind of keep you thinking. Maybe I should go out and check this movie out. You know, it's Halloween. It's creepy. It's zombies. You know, and... I think towards the end of the movie, though, they basically get the zombie thing in, under control because there's groups of people out there, and they're basically rounding up all the zombies, like big hunting parties and bonfires, and it's disgusting, really. They're shooting these zombies at the end. They're all hanging from trees and everything, and they're taking target practice at them. And, <coughs> excuse me. Oh my god. Let's look at Michael one more time. We got 16 minutes into this review and ooh, I could just stare at that all night. Look at that. Isn't that so, so cool? Oh cool. Oh yeah. Yes. It kind of adds a it kind of adds a little spookiness to this uh, particular webcast, doesn't it? I it's actually making this debut on my webcast. You know, so I'm kind of proud that this particular special effect is on me, on my uh, very new webcast. So, you know, I'm kind of really thrilled about this. It kind of just it looks... <laughs> we needed this kind of an, an upgrade into our, our, our webcast review. So, anyway, so it's basically, you know, there's some really cool scenes in this movie, you know. I can't really, you, you know how to kill zombies, don't you? I kill zombies all the time. I mean, I've been killing zombies for like 30 years. They're all around me. They're all around me. I don't know what the hell to do. Oh my God. You know, I, I see them walking down the streets all the time and I have to kill them. I have to take them out. I have to kill them. You know, it's just, it's terrible. My life, I'm just like a professional zombie hunter, you know? Especially in Minneapolis here. There's zombies all over the place. So anyway, it has the same exact story, you know. The zombies start to break through the doors. Tony, Tony Todd and this one prick who has his family in the basement basically have a gunfight. And they shoot each other a couple of times, you know. And and uh, I, you know, the scenes are pretty basic. It, you know, you've seen these scenes a hundred times before with zombies attacking people. And, you know, over, you know, just too many on one person and stuff. He, he, they're dead, you know. It's basic. So... <laughs> Am I making any sense at all? I think I'm making. I think you've all seen this movie probably a number of times. You know exactly what I'm talking about. But I like this movie. So uh, Tony Todd, of course, goes down to the basement because he, you know, he bolts himself into the basement with a board over the door. So he basically has been shot a couple times, and he's dead. And so, towards the end of the movie, right at the end of the movie, she, Patricia Tellman is still alive. She's like this Sigourney Weaver, tough little zombie killer, and she's got a gun slung over her uh, her shoulder. She's the only one that survives in the entire house. You know, there's like six or seven of them. You know, there's the three people, you know, four, five, six, six people maybe, plus all the zombies. The zombies are actually pretty cool looking. They're not overly decayed, but they do have a... a they're pretty realistic looking, you know. The gore is good, you know. The, the acting is good by the zombies and the people in the house, you know, and stuff like that. It's a very small cast until the very end when you see uh, 
they've controlled the zombies around the whole state and everything and they're having big hunting parties and you know they're they're think they're oh god it's kind of creepy at the end you know you know and uh it's just that they're they got zombies on a bonfire and they're just you know they got zombies in a in the pen and they're basically toying with them and trying to fight them and stuff and it's like god damn man what the fuck is wrong with these people well, they, they deserve to be bitten through the zombies so you know it's 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 not so it's not so much about the scenes in this particular movie it's just about what humanity is about you know when man is faced with the, an ultimate threat like the zombies you know the zombie plague the virus you know they turn against each other and they basically just kind of like uh you know they're they're heartless and cruel when they when they have zombies on the run and you know and they you know their guns and their their ammo you know they're shooting these zombies and they're you know they're fighting with them and toying with them because they know their zombies are slow and they're the undead yeah, yeah. you know so it's it kind of has a statement towards what man really is like you know uh, when he's faced with the ultimate uh, the challenge in life like zombies and the undead you know stuff like that it's just it's kind of terrible it kind of says something about what man is really alike really like did I say really alike really like I love that pigs pigs you know she just round all the zombies up and put them in detention centers and try to figure out how to cure them or something you know you know so but anyway like I said, I've seen you've all seen this movie a number of times. I think it's better than the original. So we are gonna rate this movie right now and then we're gonna end this full. I'm gonna give this movie the first movie I would probably give maybe a six and a half Butcher Knives. That's my rating system. This movie I'm gonna give a seven and a half, because I think it's a much better version of the original Night of the Living Dead. Oh, okay, let's take one. I'm done with my review. You know, if you, you don't like it, you know, fuck you. If you like it, I think most of you would agree. Well, maybe not. So, I think the camp is divided between the first one and the second one. I like the second one. I think the first one is good, but the second one's better to me. Look at Michael Walmart. Mr. Saturday Night Fever Boy. <laughs> That's Saturday Night Fever Boy with John DeVolta and, uh, what, what was that, uh, Olivia Newton-John or something? <laughs> anyway, we're going to end this webcast right now because I don't want it to get any longer. So, until next time, you all behave yourself or I'll come looking for you. Remember to comment in the boxes below. Later. <laughs>